Once you've found a profitable market, then you need to find out what these folks are already buying. You see, this isn't a time for you to reinvent the wheel. Don't go looking for some obscure solution and then cross your fingers that your market's going to like it. Instead, what you're looking for are popular products that your market is already buying. Because the best way to figure out what people will buy tomorrow is to look at what they're buying today. That's what you'll find out how to do in this video. Plus, you'll find out how to pick the very best solutions for your market. In other words, you're going to discover how to find a super profitable golden needle in a pile of affiliate marketing hay. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is find affiliate offers to promote to your audience. What you want to do is a bit of market research. Hit up Amazon, toss your keywords into the search box, and see what comes up. Here you're looking for two things. First, you're looking for best sellers. And second, you're looking for types of products that have a lot of competition. When you find those two things, then you know you have a product on your hands that your market's already buying. For example, if we were working in a weight loss market, you might notice that there are a whole lot of products about low carb diets. Plus, some of these low carb diet products are best sellers in their category. That tells you that people are buying low carb products. So this is something you might want to promote to your audience too. You can browse other marketplaces to get a feel for what is selling, including affiliate marketplaces. For example, check out jvzoo.com and clickbank.com. These are a couple of sites that are going to tell you what affiliate offers are popular in your niche. Now, if you haven't already figured it out, these are also good places to start when you're looking for specific products to promote. Another way to find products to promote is to hit up Google and search for what you know is a popular product or solution, followed by words like affiliate or affiliate program. For example, if you're going to hop on the beer making bandwagon, then search for something like beer making affiliate or home brewing affiliate or even maybe something like beer making associate program. This should turn up plenty of opportunities for you across a wide variety of companies. Just be sure your market is already buying these types of products. Okay, remember that. Now, some affiliates look at the price of a prospective affiliate product. Then they look at the commission rate and then they pick the product that's just going to stuff the biggest wads of money into their pocket. Except for there's a problem here. They start promoting the product and it doesn't sell. Or maybe it sells like crazy, but they get tons of refund requests. Or maybe they're even doing okay and selling products people love. But when affiliate payday comes, their PayPal account is as empty as a politician's promise. Yeah, you got it. Some vendors do cheat their affiliates. So we want to make sure this doesn't happen to you. Let me share with you several tips for finding a good affiliate offer that's going to get your PayPal account humming hallelujah. I'm going to assume you've already found a popular product and you know your market is already buying this type of product. So let's go from there. Okay, first things first. When you find something that looks good, your first job is to make sure it actually is a good product. This means using the product, reading it, watching it, consuming it, whatever you've got to do to review it and make sure it's good. Then ask yourself, is this solution something you'd recommend to your mother or your best friend? If you're thinking, no way, Jose, then don't promote it as an affiliate or you'll soon see your own reputation sink faster than a bowling ball in a swimming pool. You can also read reviews to be sure that people in the market are satisfied with the product. Just take these reviews with a grain of salt because sometimes they're created by biased affiliates and shills, and sometimes they're created by competitors who are out to destroy the product. Sadly, this stuff really happens. It's kind of a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there when it comes to making money. The second thing you want to look at is the commission rate and the overall price of the offer. In other words, how much money are you going to make every time you send a paying customer the vendor's way? You want to be sure that it's worth your while. Next, have a look at the conversion rates. Now, not every vendor shares this information. If you don't see this data, it's easy enough to just ask them. If the vendor doesn't provide it, then take a look at the sales letter. Do you think it'll convert? Truth is, a low conversion rate isn't a total deal breaker because you can overcome it by doing some solid pre-selling. But yeah, a solid conversion rate just makes your job a whole lot easier. Next, have a look at the whole sales process. Do you see any weird commission leaks? like? Does the vendor send the buyer off to payment options that won't give you affiliate credit? Or does the vendor do something sneaky like insert ads and links for other products, which again, you won't get credit for? Point is, go through the sales process very carefully yourself to make sure there's nothing shady going on. And then 
Finally, the last thing you want to do is a bit of research. Hit up Google and search the product name as well as the vendor's name. Sure, you might find a few disgruntled customers with complaints. Every big company does. But what you're looking for is a pattern of legitimate complaints signaling that something is wrong with the product or the vendor. I'm talking about things like not offering refunds, poor customer service, not paying affiliates, stuff like that. So there you have it. Once you do the research you just learned about, you should be able to uncover the very best affiliate products and services in your niche. Now, before I leave this topic, let me say one more thing. Be sure to pick several good offers to promote because you're not going to make a living as an affiliate promoting just one or two offers. Instead, you should be setting up a sales funnel with a wide variety of offers to promote to your prospects. Okay? So go ahead and start your research, which is going to put you one step closer to becoming the king of affiliates in your niche.